So what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. I am the Broke Petrohead and today I'm at a car meeting somewhere where I have never heard from. It's Link Lynchley's, Lynchley's, it's down in Oshawa Street and I heard about it from a guy I was working with and uh, he said yeah they have a car meet down here every Thursday from 7 till whenever. So I thought you know what, why not, I'm not too far away so let's go ahead and uh, take a walk around and see what's what. So uh, let's go get it. As I said in the intro, today I'm out in the sticks. As you can, as you can hear, someone's just leaving. Um, yeah, I'm out in the sticks and it smells of cow. I'm, I'm a city boy, so I'm not. Click, 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 pat, pat. Uh, I'm not used to this level of uh, manure smell. It's quite potent. So uh, I'm at some farm shop um, in in Lynchley's, Lynchley's, I don't know how it's pronounced, but that's where I am. And uh, yeah, there's some pretty good cars here and the day is beautiful. I've just finished work, it is 20 past seven and it's beautiful as you can see, it, look, it looks almost like midday. Anyway, if you're new around here, please do go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, because it really does help me out with the YouTube, YouTube algorithm and it is free and you know, it helps out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a walk around and see what's what. Um, yeah, there's a couple of nice cars out here and uh, I don't know what that was. Oh, it's the Aston Martin starting off. Right, let's go and get it. Just as a, so, just as I finished the intro, uh, there's a McLaren that's just leaving, and there's also a I don't know what McLaren that is, but there's also a Aston Martin DB7 leaving as well. So I'm a bit upset that the fact that I get here and those are the cars that are leaving. As you can see it there. We've got an ST leaving, we've got the RS3 leaving, we've got Ford Fiesta ST leaving. M4 just rolling out. Z4's going. Fortunately, it seems I got here a little bit late. So this is another one of those cars. I have no idea what this is. It's a Saab. Nine three original. Never seen one of them before. MX-5 is about to roll out. Porsche Turbo's rolling through. Evo 5 is about to roll. Man, I think I got here a bit too late. RS is rolling too. is about to roll so what I think I'm gonna do is just go to the end go to the entrance because it seems that everyone's rolling out and I came here a bit late so I think that'll be a better idea for me I have no idea what that is but it looks hella cool another Porsche rolling out as well Scoob is leaving Another 
Evo's leaving. So I've decided to stand across the road and watch the cars leave because cars are leaving at a faster rate than I can get around there. So I just decided, you know what, let me stand outside and uh, watch them leave. So let's do it. Is that the Amira? Evora. Megan RS. Clio RS. Mark II Golf. Ford Fiesta. idea what that is but it's cool nonetheless should be good. My word, that is smoking a lot. And there were two of them. Look at that smoke. Say at me. Sounds naughty. <laughs> oh, Porsche popping up his headlights. Foxo Cavalier. comes a sob. Oh, it's 900 turbo. Integra Type R, always good. Straighten up, push it. Thought he was going to give a bit more than that. That 
is a Subaru. I have no idea what that model of Subaru is. I've never seen one before. So let me know in the comments what do you think it is. It's a cool car though. Looks very 80s. Subaru SVX. Never seen one before, never heard of one of them before. There they go. <laughs> Another mini rolling out. That sounds like an automatic as well. something special I don't even know what this is couldn't tell you but it looks like the Gibbs Aquada if you know what that looks like looks like a toy car Summer, that six cylinder engine sounds rather nice. Mercedes <laughs> A class, A35. M240i. Again, that six cylinder sounds real smooth. And next up, we have a Scooby Doo. My favourite generation. Little MG. They're a cool thing. Nice to see it out. Danced out E30. <laughs> R32. <laughs> he was giving me the royal wave as he rolled out. <laughs> the love tip that sounds wrong the exhaust was a love heart tip oh listen to how naughty that sounds that is one of the naughtiest sounding v8s ever rover 75 they seem to be popping up all over the place i haven't seen them for years and now at Alex Kirsten's Shed Fest, I'll see four of them, and I'll see one on here. And then, a Cosé. Say it with me, Cosé. Again, so on at Shed, uh, Shed Fest. Such a cool car. It seems to be popping up all over the place now. Listen to that go. Look at this treasure. Little Ford Escort, Gen 1. That could have been bad. Oh.
a duel of MX-5s. Is, is that what you call more than one? A duel? A two? A duel? I don't know. I just made that up. I have a Lexus rolling out next. And another MX-5. And it's pretty stanced out. Sounds good. Again, love heart exhaust tip. gear because he hit the rev limiter he might be able to pick it up still going that exhaust was right by that rear wheel I didn't pick that up until just again six cylinder see now they sound so much better than the G generation of the M3s is that sacrilege to say that that generation of BMW with a six-cylinder engine sounds much better than the, the G generation, the G80 generation? I don't know, you let me know in the comments because I think they sound so much better than the M3s of the G generation. They sound like hoovers. I didn't rev as highly as the uh, Aprilia that just went out earlier. I do like the Alfa Romeo 5. I was definitely thinking about getting one, but I'm also torn between that and the uh, F10 M5, which is a better bet. You let me know in the comments. So serene. Boxster. That flat six sounds good. Another Boxster. And yet another Boxster. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a, some wedged lotus. I have no idea. Oh, it is a lotus. I had no idea, I had nothing. I think I'm gonna leave it there because most of the cars have gone by now. And uh, I've got an hour and a bit drive back home because it took me 20 minutes out, well, half an hour out of my way from where I actually started off from, which is an hour away from home. So yeah, the car's pretty much, car park's pretty much empty, um, barring a few cars. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm and it really does help the channel grow. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.